Why? Because there are diseases that can ravage your body. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. And you don't know whether or not you can save your spouse. You understand? You don't know whether or not the marriage can be saved. So there are certain conditions where people end up divorced. There are certain conditions where people end up falling from the grace they once partook of. And the scriptures spell it out. And I've gone through many scriptures during the time I preached the gospel that exposed false doctrines in the church. And there are many, more than you can shake a stick at. But let me tell you something, there's always a remnant. There's always a remnant of people, whether they're in small settings like this, that will not bow their knee to bail. You understand? God is real, and God can work in a home where there's not very many people. The power of the Holy Ghost is here. For those who will receive the truth of the gospel, salvation can be yours, and it can be maintained when you repent of your sins, confess your sins every day to God. You don't know how many ways you can sin against God, but you need to confess, and you need to repent, and you need to do all you can to stay in a place where God can speak to you and God can use you because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Understand what I'm saying. His word is preserved. His word is preserved. We're going to continue this series. We're not rushing it because the world needs to know that God is real and his word is real and you can know the truth of his word and it doesn't matter how many people come against you in the church because you're you're telling them and then you will have the ability with the help of the Holy Ghost using people like myself to study and learn the truth and to show you in the scriptures where people have perverted the word you will have the chance, the opportunity to make an informed choice and choose Jesus and be cleansed and be delivered from false doctrines. If you have to leave the church you're a part of to get away from false doctrine, you need to get away from it because it's poison and poison will kill you. You understand? Only the word of God, the living water and the bread of life will keep you alive spiritually. Because when this physical body dies, my spirit will live forever with Jesus. My soul will live forever with Jesus because they are interconnected. And when my spirit is right, then my spirit, with the help of the Holy Spirit, teaching me, correcting me, and guiding me, can get the rest of my body, the rest of me, in right standing. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5 and verse 23. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for giving me the ability to preach the gospel today. I pray that your spirit will quicken the hearts of those who truly love you. Help my kids to understand the truth of the gospel. Help my wife to increase in her learning as she listens to these sermons. God, I ask for your power to help me to continue to preach the truth, to have the boldness and courage to stand when things get hot. And help me, Lord, to never, ever turn my back on you. I know that you will not override my will, but help me, Lord, to be mindful, ever mindful of the truth of your word that I may hide your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. And I will confess my sins and repent as you show me how each and every day until you call me home. Lord, help me to be faithful as a husband, as a father, and more, most importantly, as a Christian, a true believer in Jesus Christ, not afraid to tell the truth, even in the midst of a perverse generation. Help me to shine as a light in this world. Just as my Lord Jesus shined as the capital L, he is the light of the world. He is the bright 
and morning star. He is the ancient of days and he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, Lord, I thank you and I give you glory. Give us mercies. Help us, Lord, to continue to remember you in our hearts. Give us traveling mercies. Give us mercy where we are. Look over my friend Paul. You know his situation. Be with him and bless him. And give him a heart to serve you and to confess his sins before you every day that you may cleanse him from all unrighteousness and forgive his sins and help him to know you and help him to trust you. Thank you, Lord. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You are dismissed. Go in his grace and praise the Lord.